it's tidying season and it's almost the holiday season and it is time to get serious about decluttering. So today I'm gonna to walk you through a couple areas in your house that you can quickly declutter in under 10 minutes per area. That's gonna to help to get your house whipped into shape and ready for the holiday season. Hey, I'm Lindsay with Organize to Save and I'm here to help you get organized and to tidy. And I've got my tidying mug here with me today and it is time to start decluttering and getting your houses ready for the holiday season. So let's just jump right in and talk about these different areas in your house that you can quickly declutter to get ready for the holiday season. We're all creatures of habit. You know that you do it. You come to your closet and you have your favorite pairs of jeans or maybe your underwear or socks. When you are out of underwear, but there's still a couple left in there, you'll still hurry and wash the rest of your clothes so that way you can wear the items that you prefer. Why are we holding on to all of these things that are just taking up space in our closets, in our homes? Why are we holding on to those work pants that aren't really flattering anymore? Why are we holding on to them? Go through your closet, take 10 minutes, and quickly look and see what things that you actually have not worn. Quick tip for you, flip your hangers. I talk about this all the time. So when you put things in your closet, if you've worn them, flip the hanger. That way, you know when you go back through your closet, anything that's not flipped, it's time to go. As you're going through your things and you maybe come across a couple items that obviously by the dust, you have not worn in a while, but you're still not quite ready to get rid of them, maybe try creating a come back to box. And in three to six months, go ahead and go check out that box. Make sure to put it on your calendar so you don't forget about it. But it might help you realize that I actually didn't wear these dresses, so why am I holding on to them? After this summer, I went through all my shorts and determined which ones I didn't actually wear put them all in the laundry basket under my closet, and now it's time to get rid of these. So tip for you, keep a bin, a basket, a bag near your clothes, so that way as you're going through things throughout the year, you can just toss them in there and then get rid of it. As you're decluttering, you're gonna wanna have uh, three bags available. One for trash, one for donate, and one for relocate. If you're tackling your kids' clothes, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to have a system set up for all of those clothes that they outgrow, but that you still wanna hold on to. In my daughter's closet, I have a basket right up here where I keep all the clothes that she's outgrown. So I actually tackled her closet a couple weeks ago, but since then, we've got a couple items that need to go in my relocate bag. Okay, sentimental mama, I'm talking to you now. We're gonna be tackling those kids' toys, and this might be an area that you struggle with. Maybe you don't want to get rid of something because you remember all of the fun that they had playing with it. But the thing to keep in mind is that Christmas is right around the corner and they are going to be getting a brand new toys that they're going to want to play with. So you need to find a room where you can store those toys. Get your phone out, start your timers for 10 minutes and just quickly go through and look for some different hot spots. What I'm talking about is things that are bulky that you can get rid of. Maybe you have excess packaging laying around. Maybe there's toys that they literally have not played with in years. Like for example, I know I've got some balls behind me that my daughter just does not touch. And it's taking up a ton of space that we could be utilizing for things that she's gonna get for Christmas. So these blocks, my daughter has not played with these in the playroom in forever. But I do have a small stash of these blocks in our basement. And whenever we're down there, she loves to play with these. So I'm gonna go ahead and relocate the entire set to the basement and that frees up an entire bin for Legos because she's starting to get into Legos. And I've got a new system that I'm gonna be sharing with you in a couple weeks. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these, put them in the basement. Now I have a whole bin ready for Legos. These guys, she just has not played with in forever, so I think it's just time for them to go to a new home. So in just 10 minutes, I cleared out two bins and moved some stuff so that it made a little bit more sense for what my daughter is playing with now. So now I have space because I know she's starting to get into Legos. I have a whole section designated for Legos, and I've moved all of like her horses and that kind of stuff that she's really been getting into into a bigger bin that is much easier to access.
Paperwork is gonna be another hot spot that you're gonna to wanna to hit before the holidays. Right now I'm going through all of my daughter's artwork and things that came home from school, sorting through and determining what I actually wanna keep and what we can discard, and putting the things that I'm keeping into her school memory box, which I have a whole video about if you missed it. It walks you through tips on determining what exactly to keep and how to store it all. So I'll leave that linked down below and in the eye cards above. You're also going to want to look and determine a spot where you can store all of those holiday cards that are going to be coming in. So in our command center, we have a magnet board. So I'm just clearing that off and getting it all ready to go. So that way, once the cards start coming in, we have a spot that we can display them for the holiday season. The kitchen is often the heart of the home and one of the places that we spend our most time during the holidays. So take 10 minutes and pick a spot in your kitchen to start decluttering. Me personally, I'm going to pick my utensil drawer because I know I have a couple of duplicates in there and it's going to be so much easier to be able to just clean through it and be able to find easily what I am looking for. A couple tips to help you as you are decluttering. It's very helpful to go through things that are similar to each other. So for example, all of my measuring spoons and measuring cups I have in this one divider and it's easy for me to go through and see what I have duplicates of and pull out things that we're no longer using. Another tip for you, quickly wipe down the space that you're working in as well because it's going to be nice to put things back in a clean spot. So as you're looking through things, see what all you have duplicates of. For example, I had several duplicates. I had a couple ice cream scoopers, a couple bottle openers, peelers, zesters, all things that I realistically only use one at a time of. So I picked my favorites and decluttered the rest. That took me under 10 minutes and I completely decluttered an entire drawer in my kitchen. Now come holiday season, it's going to be so much easier to quickly grab things that I need. So if you're looking for some more inspiration, check out the video on your screen right now because we are doing a video hop where you can check out several different gals that are tackling their houses for the holidays as well. Until the next video, happy decluttering.